Hello everyone and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topical issues that affect us all. I am Chinasaken Ugu, your host for tonight, and I'm joined by my amazing co-anchors, Tami and Isi. Hello, ladies. Hi. Hello. Hi. Thank you so much, you guys, for coming at such short notice. You know, Happy it's a shame that here. Uti and Uwa couldn't make it tonight. Absolutely. Get well soon, guys. Yes, absolutely. Well, thank Get you well so much, soon, guys. Ladies. You're lifesavers. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a pleasure. Thanks. So how have you been? Great, great. And you guys look amazing. And so thank do you. you. I love the colors. And I love the off shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> let's show some, let's show some shoulders. Uh, that's a tongue twister. Okay. So here's what we found as today's quote. Our global economy is much more fragile, fragile than we realize. Do you guys agree? Absolutely. The totally. world is fast becoming one small, tiny global village. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's true. Absolutely. I also uh, would take suit with um, I concur with um, Tope. Yeah. Um, the world has become a global village. It's not just about um, the internet, but everybody is able to travel from one point to the other in, in very short notice. They're more uh, open. The borders are more. They're, uh, they're more open more borders. You know, exactly. people can. There's a lot of um, movement. Mo mobility, Compared to how like, it yeah. was previously in the, um, in the past years, so we've actually really gone gone global Absolutely. compared to what it is. I know what they used to say before it was if America sneezes the rest of the world catches the cold I think it's becoming truer mm -hmm. you know if any if any large economy sneezes mm -hmm. like the rest of the world catches the cold exactly so like, just like China has sneezed and exactly. we're all yeah, catching the cold <laughs> yeah it's a malaria in fact <laughs> okay so today we're looking at the economy and how the coronavirus is affecting it will the economic impact of the coronavirus be at par with the 2008 financial crisis we don't know uh, we'll take a break to discuss what we found in the news. <laughs> 